Hello, my name is Josh Jackson with the University of Kentucky, and today I'm going to be discussing livestock handling facilities, specifically looking at a set of scales. Now there's a lot of commercially available scales on the market, however this is one that's been developed from a kit. Uh, it includes four load cells, has a junction box underneath the chute, and also a display. So today I'm going to be discussing how to set up this type of system. So for this system, uh, we've been able to lift the chute up we're using the wheels provided by the manufacturer. Uh, we, the producer was able to use C-channel, a uh, spare C-channel, and it needs to be at least a fourth of an inch thick to three-eighths of an inch thick for the chute system. He included, a, for the C-channel, you have a mounting bracket that's included with the scale kit, and so that is attached to the C-channel and welded, on, welded in place, and then you take that uh, and attach that to your chute system. Uh, once you attach it to your chute system, uh, you, you need to make sure that you do not weld with the load cell attached. This will damage the load cell, that additional heat will damage the electronics and uh, won't allow you to get accurate weights for your animals. And so, once you attach your C-channel to your chute, you then uh, want to attach your load cell. And your load cell, the orientation is important in the fact that it has an arrow pointing upwards and the foot needs to be pointing away from the arrow. And so you'll take that and the spacer, spacer and attach it underneath your chute and attach your bolts. And to ensure that your wires don't get caught, you need to make sure to zip tie them to different locations throughout the chute so they're not uh, impairing or don't get caught by any of the animals moving around the chute. So now that we've set up the scales, we've attached our load cells, attached our load bars, and now we have to uh, calibrate the scales. So for this process, <clears throat> you pretty much need to follow the manufacturer's instructions for calibration. There may be a two-point calibration when you need a zero and then one uh, known weight, or it could uh, require a lot more like calibration points. So follow the instructions, follow the protocol. Uh, each one's going to have it be somewhat different. Uh, this way play we have for this uh, Kit, scale kit that we have here, uh, it's both portable and it's uh, battery powered, so you don't have to necessarily have uh, the 110 volts, but it, you know that's still an easy option. Um, it also possesses a RS-232 port, so that gives you the capabilities to do Bluetooth uh, similar to those uh, higher dollar commercial models. So, very effective option, and now we'll go ahead and uh, run some cattle through this chute to show you uh, how this process works. So we've caught our first animal. We can go ahead and check our weight. So she's weighing, uh, it'll calm down here a little bit. Calling it at uh, 12.24. So we go ahead and now we can apply all the vaccines that are needed to her. We can go ahead and get our vaccination, go ahead and give them to her. And we're ready to work and just record the data for these animals. All right, I've showed you today how to set up your own scale system from a kit. Additional information will be provided in the future in the links below. You can contact me at my email address in the link below as well. And this has been Josh Jackson with the University of Kentucky, today showing you how to set up your own scale system. Thank you for your time.